my water is just broke today is Wednesday the 27th of November so the day before his due date um, we were just leaving Artem's sister's house and I sat in the car and so I heard a big pop and <laughs> lots and lots of um, water gushing out lots of fluid gushing out um, so yeah, so baby's coming. So we just headed home and picked up our bags and everything. You can see my birthing ball in the back. Um, and we're heading to the hospital now. So we're about 30 minutes from the hospital. Um, contractions are coming about every five minutes right now. So my doctor just called and we were like, yesterday I was, was it yesterday we were at the doctor's? No, Tuesday. Tuesday I was, oh yeah, it's Wednesday. So yesterday I was at the doctor's and I was one centimeter dilated, so we did a cervical sweep, and lo and behold, it must have worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, my contractions are about five minutes apart right now. They're not terrible, they're, I can cope. They're, and one's starting right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk. I contract more water gushes out. like this pain's not like any other pain that I've had before and so I guess that maybe was the start of things and everything kicking in so we will see we're heading to the hospital and I, I'll keep you guys updated when we get there and things that are going on so bye for now so this is the delivery room so we're here there's Arda soon to be daddy so this is what the room looks like. We just got in, no one's been in yet to check on me. Um, I just got into my lovely gown and the contractions are already really bad. So I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I kind of got cut off before when I was showing you guys the room and stuff and getting in my gown. Um, a lot has happened. So when we got here, I was already four centimeters dilated which is like really fast. So our water's broke and I was four centimeters dilated. Um, and so the contractions were coming for like 45 seconds, like every two minutes. So they're coming like so frequently and they were really, really strong um, cause I was progressing so fast. Um, so I think, how long was I before I got an epidural? About, uh, about three hours. No, like four hours. About three or four hours, and I decided every two minutes for three or four hours was enough, and we decided to go ahead and get the epidural. So I just had the epidural. Um, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. I think the worst part about the epidural was 
sitting forward for the during the contractions during the epidural because obviously you have to bend and curve the spine so you're already putting pressure more on the stomach so the contractions during that time were really hard um, but now I still feel the contractions but I'm not even having to try breathe through them so I feel so much better which is awesome um, and they just checked me again and I am now six centimeters dilated so Pretty much right now we're gonna try and take a nap for a couple hours, update um, family, and then hopefully in a few hours I'll be pushing and we'll be here. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple hours, that's what they're saying. They'll check and see, but it's progressing fast. So, oh, wow. daddy looks shocked. Say hi, daddy. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, so things are moving. So I'm lying on my side right now because this is, pretty much I can't move now it's crazy because I was so sure I wanted to come in this and I was gonna walk around the room the whole time and I didn't want to do an epidural oh. what be on the ball. I, poor Artem brought this birthing ball in and I haven't sat on it once so um I totally thought that but the contractions were so bad and with every contraction I was leaking like so much so it was really hard to be walking anywhere because Artem was cleaning up after me, poor guy. Um, so yeah, I definitely, not what I expected, but I'm happy and I'm glad now. I feel so much better. Like the fact that I can even talk for this song is crazy to me because before every two minutes I was <sighs> so it was really strong. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. I'll try and keep... What? Much happier not seeing you in pain as well. Yeah, he's much happier not seeing me in pain. It was, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure it was hard to watch, but it was harder to do. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything that's going on right now. Baby is progressing very fast, especially for first delivery, and we're doing good. We're ready. For, we're ready to meet our little boy, right? Yeah. yeah. So, give you an update soon. has happened since the last time that I checked in um, honestly things just got so crazy and 
everything started happening so quickly so I'm just gonna do like a quick recap of like what happened up to this point so we arrived at the hospital at 7 p.m. Um, on the 11th no on the 11 27 19 so the 27th of november um so we got here at seven and they checked me then and i was already four centimeters dilated so it was already going pretty quickly for me being one centimeter dilated yesterday um so we got here at seven i was four centimeters and the contraction started to get Did it yesterday was Wednesday? Yeah, but you were one centimeter on Tuesday. When we oh, the he's correcting me. So I was one centimeter on Tuesday, and we came in on Wednesday. So okay, so I was one centimeter on Tuesday, and by the time we got here at seven p.m. on Wednesday night, um, I was already at four centimeters, and so the contractions started to come really strong, and they were like less than every two minutes, so they were really close together and everyone was kind of shocked and they just started to build up so much that I was just getting so tired already I really didn't think if I kept going with it I wasn't going to be able to push um, so we ended up going ahead and get the epidural so we got the epidural around 9 o'clock um, by the time they did the blood work and everything, we had the epidural at 9 o'clock and at that point, um, just before the epidural, I was 6 centimeters dilated, so we had already progressed a little bit more along. Um, and then so we thought the epidural would slow things down because I was already progressing so quickly, um, but that did not happen, it did not slow down at all, so they came back after the epidural they came back and checked on me at 11 p.m. and so they came in and they're like oh we're just gonna do another cervical check see how far you're dilated since the last two hours ago um, and it's so funny the doctor just goes to check and is like oh I can't feel your cervix because baby's head is already there <laughs> So they did that and the ever doctor checked and I was 10 centimeters fully dilated but we knew that because baby's head was already there. Um, so at that point it was like 11, 11, 15 and the doctor is like, okay, so let's just do a practice pr push and like kind of get a feel for things and see how things are going to go. And so we got into position and we went to do a practice push and like, oh, okay, okay, stop, stop. And I was like, oh God, what's going on? <laughs> and pretty much baby's head was already ready to come out. So we had to stop and wait and make sure everything was set up. And so we got everything set up by 11.28 p.m. And I was pushing for exactly 16 minutes. <laughs> so we pushed oh, 11.27. Sorry, I got the time wrong. So we stuck yeah yeah so the exact date that it was born 11 27 was the exact time that i started pushing 11 27 p.m and then 16 minutes later this guy was here crazy well i pushed a total of like seven eight times mm -hmm. and he was just ready to come he was coming so quick so from us getting the to the hospital at 7 p.m we were already he was already here by Nelly midnight, 11.48, right? 11.43, he was here. 11.43, I'm terrible with numbering times. I already have numbering, so that's just great. So yeah, so our little guy came. Um, no complications, honestly. Um, I lost a little bit more blood than normal, but other than that, he is he is amazing. <laughs> He's perfect, right? Yeah. Um, he is a big boy as well. Do you want to just tell him how big he is? He is 9.37 or 9.39. He was something like that, but mainly just 9 pounds and 3 ounces. Yeah. So they said that he would have been he would have been 9.5, but he did pee a lot as soon as he came out, so it kind of dropped a little bit of weight. Yeah, so he peed so much all over the blankets that they had to take him like when they were doing his measurements and stuff so he would have weighed actually more but he dropped down to nine pounds and three ounces which is still a big baby we knew like my belly was big but i i was still thought he was only going to be like seven pounds like eight max if he was um and i got everyone's predictions so i'll have to put that in here as well um 
but yeah so he is doing good breastfeeding is going well he's sleeping well passing stool everything's going great i'm very sore i just had a shower like a quick shower um other than that everything's going good <laughs>